it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I'm going to show you how to make a granny square. I'm going to show you from start to finish for one, two, three, four, five rounds. This really is meant for beginners so if you are learning how to make a granny square this is the ideal video for you but even if you are advanced or you just want to refresh your memory this is also a good video for you because I have lots of tips and tricks in this video. So I hope you will appreciate my efforts in trying to show you how to do this granny square and I'm going to try and explain everything to you in great detail all unbroken. So no stopping and no I'll see you later. I am just going to keep going. Okay so let's get started. To make a slip knot, we are going to lay the yarn on our fingers like so. Hold on to it. Holding out two fingers, wrap your yarn around twice. Looking at it like this, take your back loop, bring it over the front loop. Now the front loop becomes the back loop, so bring the back loop over the front loop. And now you're going to pull up the loop that is now at the back. Take out your fingers and you have a slip knot. So insert your hook and close the loop. Now for my tension I need to use a three and a half for this yarn which is a DK weight or a three weight as I say in the US and normally this yarn is prescribed as a four millimeter hook yarn. So Three and a half is because of my looser tension. So make sure you check out how your squares, how your crochet feels when you have done it in the prescribed hook. And if you don't like it, then change the hook size to your preference. So I have pulled the end of my yarn just to make sure that my loop is a little bit smaller. Hold on to your yarn ready to start crocheting. So you're going to take your hook underneath the yarn like so and you pull back the hook and you are going to pull through the loop through the loop on your hook. So yarn over and you pull the loop through the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull the loop through your loop, yarn over and pull back. There we go. So now we have four chains. One, two, three, four. We're going to go back to the first chain here and you're going to go into it just about there. So you've got one strand on the front of your hook, two strands on the back, and then you're going to take your working yarn and lay it ready for the hook to catch it. When you come back through that stitch, you bring back the loop from the working yarn and you bring that loop through the loop that's on your hook. You're now going to do two more chains because those chains are going to be your first double crochet that you will need to do. So these two chains are a double crochet. So we now need to do another two double crochets and we place them in the little circle that we made here. So yarn over for a double crochet, you insert into the circle, you pull up your working yarn into a loop like so, then you yarn over again, you pull it through two loops on your hook, now you've got another two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. Then another one, yarn over, back into that same circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now the clusters that we make are made up of three double crochets, but here, because of course we have to get started, we are going to consider those two chains as our first double crochet. So in effect I have done my three double crochets here, then we do two chains, those chains are going to be the corner,
And now we need to make another side. So we yarn over, insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we are doing another three double crochets. There we go. So really we have now made a side, a corner and a side. So of course a square has four sides and four corners. So that's what we need to make. So another two chains for another corner, another three double crochets for another side. And each time we go into that same location, that circle that we made in the beginning. Another corner and scoot your stitches over if you need to and another side. So this is our fourth side. So three double crochets. So let me show you. So first side, first corner, second side, second corner third side, third corner, fourth side, and now we are going to do the fourth corner. So we are going to chain two. There we go. Now, of course, we need to close the round. So what I do is these two chains are my double crochet, but there is no top to the double crochet. This here is the next double crochet, and this is the next top. So this top belongs to this double crochet. This one doesn't have one, but we are going to create that with our slip stitch. So we go under the top of the next double crochet. So this V here, we go under there. We place the yarn so it will come back with us when we hook our hook behind it and pull it back through the stitch and then we are going to pull this loop back through this loop. So reposition your square if you need to, to do so. And now we have created a top to that two chain, which counts as a double crochet. And this now for me has closed the round. Now I am going to change colors because as a learner, as a beginner, you will find this easier than just keep on going because you might get confused which round you're on. When you change colours, you automatically know which round you're on. So I'm going to cut off the yarn and you pull the end out. And so this is now the end of your round. What I tend to do is go under the next V pull back the yarn to the back so it's nicely sitting at the back. So let's get started on our second round. Now at the end of the video I will show you how to go from one to the other round without cutting off the yarn and of course so keeping the same colour. But first of all let's change colours. So I'm now going to use my ecru Again, I am making a slip knot just the way we did earlier. And you put your hook into the loop, close it up, and we are going to get started, of course, in a location that makes sense. And here, the only location that we can get started in is a corner. So we're going to go into the corner, but not before we yarn over because we are doing double crochets. So I start with a slip knot around my hook to do a standing double crochet. It makes it indiscernible when you are looking at your square to see where you have started. So you start with a double crochet as if you were already crocheting. So just pretending that you've come from here, you're now going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we can start doing our normal stitches. 
So we are making granny clusters and a corner is made up of one granny cluster of three double crochets. Then we do two chains and then another granny cluster. So another lot of three double crochets. And those are our corners. There we go. Now, for this round, all we are doing is making corners. So we are going to place exactly the same configuration here, into this chain space, into this chain space, and into this chain space. So I move from one chain space to another, and I just do the configuration of three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Three double crochets, two chains, and then I turn my project and I do another three double crochets. There we go. So now really we've done two corners and that has made one side here already, one complete side. So now off to the next chain space. So you yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. Three double crochets, two chains, and another three double crochets. And that has completed our second side. Already working on our third side. Three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. There we go. So we have now completed all our sides. We've made four corner configurations and now we have to close our round. And this really is the same situation as before. This stitch here, the top of it always closes up for me. So what I do is I go under the next V, so the top of the next double crochet, I go under there, I bring back the yarn and then straight away I pull this loop through the loop on my hook. I have now created a V on top of this stitch here. And we are ready to cut off our yarn. And you pull out the end and then what I usually do just to secure it a little bit is I go under the next V, hook it behind my hook and pull it back. There we go. So that was round two. Now for round three, we are going to do the same thing. So we make our slip knot, insert the hook, and once again, we are going to get started with a standing stitch. So pick up your work. Now you can get started wherever you want, of course, as long as you know what you're doing there. So let me explain. These chain twos are going to be our corners. And of course, our square has four corners and the corners are always made up of three double crochets two chains and three double crochets. So in these locations here, that is what you will be doing. But we have more locations now, and these locations are going to be growing. So here, where my thumbs are, and here, those are locations for sides. So those locations will just have three double crochets in them, or like I call them, a cluster. So let me show you how to do this round. So wherever you fancy starting, yarn over, I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to do the same thing as before. I am going to 
create my corner of three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. There we go. And of course, you always place them into that corner chain space. Now, for the side, we are going to place our double crochets in between the two clusters here. So you yarn over, you go in between, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to place your clusters there. It doesn't matter that there is no chain space or anything. There is a location there for you to put that anyway. So it doesn't matter. That's fine. Now off to the next location, which just happens to be a chain space for a corner. So that is what I am making here. Three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. And as you can see now, we have made two corners and we have a side as well. So now here we have a cluster and a cluster. So I'm going to place my next cluster in between those two because this is a side that I am making. And to be honest, this round, round three, is the one that you are going to keep on repeating until you have a square that is the size that you want it. Now today we are going to be making a square that's five rounds, but of course you can keep going and make this square as big as you want. You can even make it as big as a double bed size. And once again, I have just completed a corner configuration. I am now doing a cluster for the side. There we go. So we've done one, two, three, four corners, and we've done one, two, three, four sides. So all we need to do is close our round. Once again, closed up, go under the next V, and do a slip stitch by pulling this one through the loop on your hook. There we go. And that was round three. So let's just pull this to the back. And for round four, once again, same thing. Make your slip knot, insert your hook, close the loop. And this time I am going to start on the side just to be awkward. <laughs> so I am going to start here, yarn over, and I'm just going to do my three double crochets in this location because this is a location for a side cluster. And that means I am just doing three double crochets on their own. Off to the next location where I am going to be placing three double crochets. There we go. And now here we are going to place a corner configuration. So that means three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. There we go. So as you can see, here we had no side clusters or no real side clusters. Here we have one, 
Here we have two. And in the next round, there will be three. The next round, there will be four and so on. So your sides will become longer and longer to do. And of course, you only ever do four corners because we're making a square. And a square is square <laughs> with four corners. So I'm going to continue doing my side here. Now it is time to do a corner. So three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. Now I am using cotton because I am using this for a particular project, which will be published soon as well. But of course, for a granny square that you're going to use for a warm blanket, you want to use another fibre. Of course, that's perfectly all right. This video is meant as a beginner video or even a refresher video. So use whichever yarn you have available. But I have to admit, using different colours for your rounds will help you to figure out what is part of your current round. So you don't get confused and start working in the wrong spaces. OK, so it's clear to see that now we are working around the dusky color and we shouldn't be you know, going into any other color. So two clusters for my side. And yeah, here we go, another corner. So we do three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. And now time to close our round so this one has closed up. This one we can go under, bring back the yarn and we do a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. So that is our fourth round ready for our last one. Let's cut off the yarn, pull through the end and just bring it to the back. There we go. So here I have the ecru again. Once again, make your slip knot. Insert your hook. And close the loop. Once again, I am going to choose where to start because I know what I'm doing where. These are just locations for normal clusters all of these here, these four locations on the corners, that's where I'm going to be placing my corners. So I'm going to get started right about here. And I'm going to do my standing double crochet. And then another two double crochets. So this time you will notice I am doing three clusters on the sides. And then once I've done my three side clusters, I will be doing a corner. There we go. This is the start of our corner two chains and another three double crochets. Voila. 
and this is how we will continue all along our round. Three double crochets in between the clusters. A cluster is made up of three double crochets. And here we are doing a corner already, chain two, turn, and we do another three double crochets. There we go, see? And off we go, doing our three clusters for this side. So like I said, in round five, you have got three clusters on your side, but from there on, of course, every round you will gain a cluster. So the next round you will be doing four clusters, five, six and so on. But of course, if you were counting the clusters of the corner, you would be counting to the round number that you are doing. So this is round one, two, three, four, five. And we have one, two, three, four and five clusters on that side. I see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And you just keep going. You do your side clusters and then when you get to a corner, you do a cluster, two chains and a cluster. Two chains and we turn and we place another cluster in that same chain space. So this is our square with the five rounds. But if you were to do your next square, for instance, if you wanted to practice and you wanted to do this in one color, but make sure you have the logistics of this square down first. Make sure you know what is happening in each round before you start doing this in one color. But if you are doing this in one color, so you have done your slip stitch here to close the round. Let me find my working yarn so I don't get started by using the end. And then you are going to do a few slip stitches. So can you see this location here where you see my skin through the stitch? That's the location that you go into and you do another slip stitch. Then you move on to here and you do another slip stitch. The reason why we do these slip stitches is because when you are here, you're in the wrong place to get started for the next round. So we need to travel across to find the location that is best for us to start working. And what you do then is the following. So you're going to chain two because we need the height of our stitch to get started. This one will count as the first double crochet, just like we did here where the chain counted as our first double crochet. And then you're going to place another two double crochets into that location because of course this is on the side where you have to place your cluster of three double crochets. And we have started our new round. Then you are going to place your clusters as you are used to 
on the side just the clusters as they are. And then of course once you encounter your corner you do a corner. But this way you will notice we are now doing exactly the same things but of course we're using the same color. We have not cut off our yarn and we are using the same color. We have moved from one round. Let me show you. We have moved from one round to the next and we will continue doing the same things. When we get here we will do exactly the same as what we did here. We are going to skip those two and do your slip stitch under this V there. So this is the end of how to make a granny square meant for beginners really to show you which are the different rounds that we do when we create a granny square. Once you realize these different rounds, once you get to round one, two, three, you will be able to make a blanket as big as you want. Do you want to stop and start again and just make this size granny squares and put them together as a blanket? Of course, that's a possibility, but you could also just keep going and making your rounds longer and longer and longer. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.